catch twenty two. You've most probably heard someone refer to a situation as a catch twenty two, or a paradoxical situation, which cannot be escaped. Trying to get a job as a new graduate is a catch twenty two. You need experience to get a job, but you can't get a job unless you have experience. You might lament to a classmate, "I'm sorry, but you don't have enough money to qualify for a business loan." The banker might say. As you retort, but that's exactly why I need the loan. As is plain to see, the idiom "catch twenty-two" describes a situation that is a paradox. In other words, a situation in which you are stuck for various reasons. There are no catch twenty twos in nature, however, because nature cannot contradict itself, but humans certainly can, and do often create two rules that are opposite. Catch twenty two is a term that was coined by Joseph Heller in his nineteen sixty one novel of the same name. Catch twenty two. In the novel Catch twenty two, the phrase is used to describe absurd bureaucratic constraints placed on soldiers during World War Two. An example from the novel is how a soldier must obey his commanding officer. Even if the commanding officer's orders go against the orders of that very same officer's superiors, related to the idiom "catch twenty-two," you might hear someone say, "Damned if you do, damned if you don't." Damned if you do, damned if you don't. Doesn't exactly apply to paradoxes, though, as it is used for situations in which either choice leads to a negative outcome. If I leave the office early to attend the school play, my boss will be unhappy. But if I don't, our child will be really unhappy. Damned if I do. Damned if I don't. You might be discussing with your partner. It's a tough choice, but the whole reason we work is so that we can earn money, so that we can take care of our family. A catch twenty-two is a bit more tricky and idiotic than a situation. In which you have two choices that will lead to pain, suffering, or being damned. The catch twenty-two of life is that by the time you are wise enough to appreciate life, you are old and don't have much time left. Your elderly father might tell you. Maybe you're volunteering at a retirement home when one of the seniors tells you, "Now that we have enough time and money to enjoy ourselves, we're too old. It's a catch twenty-two." Thus, whatever ridiculous situation. Paradoxical because of idiotic rules you find yourself in. Don't forget to lament that it's a catch twenty-two.